Starting an application, such as File Explorer, either select the icon from the taskbar, click the Windows Start button, or the Windows Start key on your keyboard, select File Explorer, or type in the name of the program you wish to use. Select the location that you wish to use. A new folder. You can select New and choose Folder. Or you can right click, select New and Folder. While highlighted, give an appropriate name. Hit the Enter key to lock in the new name. Now to start WordPad. As before, select Start and begin typing WordPad. Select the application. I like to make sure the file doesn't disappear later, so I choose File save as to create a new file. Make sure the correct folder is selected. Then name the file. When creating a new file using save as, you have to select where is it going what will it be called, and what kind of file it will be. Next, create your work. This simply means type. Get your thoughts down. Next, you can edit. That is, change the way it sounds. Rearrange the word. Add new words. Delete words that no longer are needed. Finally, you can format your text. Format means change the appearance. You can make text bold. You can make text italic. You can make text underlined. You can change the size of the text. You can change the shape the font face. You can change the color. To select text, you can drag your mouse across it. There are also keyboard shortcuts, such as Control A to select all the text. Now I'm going to start Paint. Not going to make anything very interesting. File. Image Properties. I'll make this about 120 by 120. If it looks a little small, you can use the zoom. I'll just select the pencil tool, choose a color. Selecting in paint, choose the select tool. Drag a box to select. You can now cut copy or paste. I will just copy the selection. I'll press the Alt key down, hold it down, press Tab to switch back to WordPad, put my cursor where I wish it to be, and then I could paste. Notice I can use the menu item, 
I can use the keyboard shortcut or I could right click to paste. I want to replace the old version of the file with this new version of the file, so I choose File, Save. I'm going to close WordPad. I'm going to close Paint. I don't need to save this. Now, my folder contains the RTF file. I can go back up a step to view the folder. If you need to zip a folder, right click the folder, compress to zip file, make sure it has an appropriate name, and this item is now suitable for using in a Dropbox or in an email.